What is going on, people inside that internet machine? Welcome to the CM Retro Show. This we pick up episode 105. It seemed like only four episodes we were at 100. Or whatever. However the math works out. All right. Um, we really don't have any, like, pre-pickup pickup stuff. But I did go to the dollar store and get a picture frame for the uh, photo that Leaf and COE33, the Game Hunters, sent to me. I'll leave a link down below to their channel. Awesome. And uh, we'll get that on the, uh, the wall of people I know that have sent pictures to me. Which consists of the game, the Game Hunters, and uh, Rebel Gaming Club. Yay! Also, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and mention the Torg convention, the Ohio Retro Gamers convention. This will be their fourth year having their convention, and it is on Sunday, April 19th. I know it's probably a little early to start mentioning those things, but I wanted to make sure that I, I threw that out there in case you guys want to go. Well, I'll be there. So, you know, it's a Sunday, so if you need to make plans, you know, schedule off of work. I'll probably take Saturday night off. But, um, yeah, hope to see you guys there. I'll leave a link to their Facebook page down below so you guys can check that out. I'm excited, and I'm ready. Let's go game hunting. All right, hold on. We got more stuff. We got tons of stuff. I don't even know where to put all of it. Oh, God. I feel, I 
feel like gamer's manual. Right. now because I have so much stuff and I never get this much stuff so whoo here we go uh oh can't forget our pickups hat all right back to back to business uh, you guys saw in the video there first thrift store we go to every time is whatever color tag if it's $12 and under it's 75 cents another color tag is half off so uh, orange tag this week was 75 cents Nothing special here. I just picked up a couple of DS games. They were 75 cents each like I said But these are the cases that I can put my Game Boy Advance games in so for 75 cents. Yeah, I'll definitely pick those up Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 for the PSP Complete again 75 cents. Um, I'll probably look into vending being a vendor at the tour convention so I'll pick up a bunch of these like 75 cent titles like that and put them in like a three dollar bin so might as well start picking them up now here's another title that's going to go in there socom u.s navy seals 75 cents complete actually very nice condition on this one and uh, the last game that we actually picked up there was for my ps3 collection but it's a uh, midnight club los angeles complete edition that was six bucks, but it was blue tag. Blue tag was half off, so we got that for three dollars. We'll give that a try, see how it handles. And uh, you know, but it trades into GameStop for like six bucks, so we double our money in trade or like 480 or something cash. So even if we're like slim, slim margins. Uh, and then I saw this, it was blue tag, so it was half off. I just saw Joel from Media Glitch uh, pick one of these up. This is actually the second one that I have in my collection. I'll probably just get rid of both of them. But it is a Sega Genesis miniature plug and play. It's six bucks. And like I said, blue tag was half off. But uh, basically, it's like the Sega six pack. You know, it's like Columns and Altered Beast and Sonic and whatever whatever is on the six pack. So right across the street is a, another thrift store. I walked in, you guys saw it in the video. Uh, the last good game I found there was Mario Kart Double Dash for GameCube. I was missing the manual, but you guys saw in the video I had the manual. But uh, for six bucks, we picked up New Super Mario Brothers 2 for the 3DS. So that's exciting. You know, that's a that's a ten dollar game or twelve dollar game at GameStop. So make a little bit of money there. I saw this in the toy section. I had to have it. We're gonna put it in the game room as shelf candy. It's a little Yoshi. I don't know what toy this is from. I don't know if that's a McDonald's toy. Looks like there was something in between his hands. But uh, yeah, a little Yoshi. It sticks his tongue out at you. Like. So, you know, we'll find a spot for Yoshi. How about right there? Um, I did snag a... I, I snag these anytime I can get them. I actually don't even buy 3DSs or 2DSs, but for 99 cents, we picked up a 3DS charger. We've got like four or five of these. I might start throwing them up on Craigslist for like dirt cheap because I get them for 99 cents, so... 3DS chargers, 90, uh, five bucks. How about that? All right. Uh, so I run into a thrift store. They had this in there last week for 10 bucks. I tried to haggle the guy down. He wasn't having it. Um, but it's Mario Kart Big Box for the Wii. It was $9.99. Now, unfortunately, the game is not in there. You know, if you bought it, the game was in there, I would have bought it last week. But it does have the steering wheel and the paperwork in there. Um, I'm likely to find Mario Kart Wii during garage sales, so uh, to get that complete would actually be pretty cool. We'll throw it up on the shelf. One of my favorite things to do is to walk into a thrift store and find awesome cartridge games like that Mario Brothers game. Six bucks is a little high, but, you know, for a Mario game, whatever. Uh, you guys saw in the footage there, I go into Goodwill. They had a boxed Sega Genesis Model 2. I said, what do you want for it? Uh, he said $99. I was like, no thanks. Um, but it was complete with the cardboard and everything. It just I'm not going to spend $100 at Goodwill on a Sega Genesis. But over in their game section for $2.99, NBA Jam for the Super Nintendo. That'll go in the doubles bin. And then it's got a little stain right here. But uh, you guys saw Super Mario Kart Black Label copy. That label is very, very nice. Very glossy. 
no scratches, dings or dents on it. Probably needs to be clean. And uh, the cartridge slot looks amazing. Again, $2.99 each for those. What a steal! Sorry for the break, I had to take a drink of the grape soda. Um, okay. So last pickup video wasn't that great. We really didn't find anything. This week, uh, I decided, you know what, we're going to go for it. We're going to spend a little bit of money. We were at um, VGMX, the Video Game Music Exchange, which is a really cool store in my area. And uh, they had some Sega Saturn games. I know, right? You guys probably saw in the video there. But, um, yeah, so we'll take a look at these. Let me flip them around a little bit. Um, and they're pretty decently priced. So we got Pro Pinball. Pro Pinball for $4.99. I think the total was like 33 or 30, 34 bucks. But I'm a rewards member there, so you get 10% off. So whatever, 34 bucks minus 3 or 4 bucks or whatever. But yeah, so Pro Pinball. And whoever turned these in, they were like in amazing condition. They put uh, bubble wrap in there. All complete with the manuals. Discs are in great shape. So for the third time, Pro Pinball. Um, I wanted to pick this up <laughs> Just like so I hear Craig Sadler. <laughs> but it's uh, Pebble Beach Golf Links for $4. Complete unboxed Sega Saturn game for 4 bucks. Unbelievable. I should have bought the other ones uh, that were $3.99 and $2.99, the sports games, just for the cases. We got NBA Jam Extreme for $9. Um, there's people asking $20, $25 bucks for that on eBay right now. 6 bucks. We got Black Fire. Helicopter game. Looks cool. And the last game we got here is Impact Racing for $9. And that looks like it goes for a little bit more now. I love the Sega Saturn's color palette. It looks like someone's tie-dye machine exploded. Let's get them on the shelf. I'll probably sell the bulk of those. Um, try to make a little bit of money. I really like the Sega Saturn, but I don't have room for it, and I hardly ever play it, so there's really no sense to stockpile games for a console that you never play. Although we might live stream it, live stream them and then sell them, you know. So, uh, this last pickup, holy smokes. A guy posted a, a PlayStation lot, had a PlayStation 1 and like 50 games. He went out 150 bucks for everything. I said, can I just buy some of the games? And uh, I gave him a list of games. I said, I understand I'm inconveniencing you. A lot of like common stuff in there, uh, but so anyway, he hit me back with a price. I was gonna say forty. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight games, so I didn't say like five bucks a game would be my top. So forty bucks. He hit me with fifty, and I thought, well, if I haggle with him and try to get it for forty-five, what's another five bucks? You know, so just make him happy and give him the the fifty. So I meet up with him. Uh, he said he's got a bunch of like Nintendo stuff stuff in his. Uh, garage or basement or whatever and they're just trying to clear it out and sell it and um i said hey man call me but for 50 bucks we picked up uh, some playstation one games we got project overkill it's like crusader of no remorse one of those like top down sort of isometric run and gun shooters so i was pretty excited about this game uh pandemonium and of course, Pandemonium 2. This is actually a double for me that's going to go in the doubles bin. Who can stop Mr. Domino? Oh no, no one can stop Mr. Domino. I was just watching uh, Cat Urkers play a review of that, but it's a game that I don't see a lot. These are all like good like mid-level titles. They're not like high-end titles. Got Devil Dice. A game that I've never seen before, and somebody actually has a loose disc up on eBay right now for 95 bucks. I don't know if they're going to get that, but definitely definitely a game I've never seen. So I'm going to say this is an uncommon game. Builder's Block for the PlayStation 1. Um, it, look, it looks generic, like it's, but it, it's kind of like, I guess, like a Tetris puzzle, bubble pop kind of game, like Landmass. And then uh, the two best games in the lot, we've got Mr. Driller. Which, uh, you know, another puzzle game. They must have really liked their puzzle games. And the last one here, very excited to pick this up. Um, I forget who I saw pick this up. It might have been... might have been Kane or your player 2 or somebody. Somebody picked this up. 
Nuclear Strike, Gauntlet, Galaga, Army Men, uh, Bomberman World, Rampage, Contra, uh, Ka and Bomberman Party it's Edition. It's a Bomberman World, and it's an Atlas title, so very happy to add that to the collection. Uh, all these will be going in the collection, like I said, except for Pandemonium 2. And, uh, yeah, guys, that is going to do it, man. Like, we got a lot of stuff this week. I'm very proud. So I have to go scrub all this stuff down and get it ready for sale. But let me know what you've been picking up in the comment section down below, how your game hunting has been going, how your garage sale stuff has been going. And we will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves.